Hi, I'm Kaya, and the Emoji Movie might have finally destroyed my faith in humanity. At least whatever was left of it after Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever. Jingle bells, Christmas smells. Look, some stuff just shouldn't be made into movies. Adapting books and TV shows is one thing, at least those have like characters and stories. But even as we speak, some Hollywood executive is dreaming about the new boat she's gonna buy once the Pest Dispenser movie tops Avatar. Is that like a real thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hollywood, great. Lucky for her, we've compiled a list of four things that shouldn't be made into movies. So let's start with theme park rides. The Rock might be the biggest movie star in the world, but I question his taste sometimes. He just signed on to do a film based on the Jungle Cruise ride at Disneyland, which is fine. I'm sure it'll make a ton of money and Kevin Hart will be involved somehow but there's just not a lot to the ride. You float down a river and look at some animatronic animals while an underpaid college kid pretends to be a sea captain. I like to say nobody make any noises that sound like a banana. The movie is just a shameless way to cash in on name recognition. That's gonna be a reoccurring theme here. Disney just keeps trying this shit. They made a movie about the Tower of Terror first. The ride was a tie-in with the Twilight Zone, but the film had zero connection. It was made for TV, but don't worry, they're trying again. They're gonna remake The Haunted Mansion, too. The first one was a lame comedy starring Eddie Murphy. Guillermo del Toro is behind the new one, so it should at least be a little scary if he ever gets around to making it. There was The Country Bears, which was basically like making a movie about Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. And Tomorrowland, Brad Bird's box office bomb based on a whole park. Disney succeeded exactly once with Pirates of the Caribbean, and it worked because it was basically a Western with pirates. And it's the best f***ing movie Disney's ever made. It only had a few token references to the ride, like the jail scene with the little puppy. Honestly, it's more like a Monkey Island movie. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. But as long as Johnny Depp still has a pulse, people will pay money to see Jack Sparrow. I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Board games. If Rihanna ever wins an Oscar and completes that EGOT, I wonder if people are going to remember that her first big acting role was in f***ing Battleship. I mean, they definitely spent some damn money on this movie. Liam Neeson, Taylor Kitsch, Bad Girl Riri, but it's a total disaster. They had to come up with some alien invasion BS because Battleship is barely even a game. Oh, you, can't like Battleship. <laughs> you can play it with pen and paper. It's like making Tic-Tac-Toe the movie. Ouija isn't a game either. It's not even spooky. Hasbro just pulled the name out of their butts so they can trademark it and make bank off an old parlor trick. Hasbro's Ouija. The movie was just jump scare crap. Like I went to see that, I was like, what the flippity flop is this? Like, no, seriously, who let this get made? This is fucking ridiculous and it's just like, mm. Even worse than the movies we got are the ones the studios keep threatening to make. There's an Adam Sandler Candyland in the works. I'm just sorry. So that should really appeal to the ages three and up target audience. Some idiot wants to make a Hungry Hungry Hippos movie. Oh, and there's been a Monopoly movie in the works since 2008. Ridley Scott was originally gonna direct it as a satire about capitalism, but he bailed. Now Monopoly is gonna be a family-friendly adventure film starring a boy from Baltic Avenue. Great. I mean, maybe Alec Baldwin can be the voice of the little CGI top head, I don't know. You are shit, hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, cause you are going out. Hey, I'm not saying the concept only works as a board game. I train all year for McDonald's Monopoly season, like for real. There was even a Monopoly game show in 1990, but there's just not enough meat in a board game to tell an engaging story, unless you're talking like one of those $90 beasts they only sell at comic shops, or, you know, Clue. Don't hate me for trying to shoot you. Frankly, Scarlett, I didn't give a damn. That worked because every session of the game tells its own little story. It's a classic murder mystery with memorable characters, and it's a perfect setup for a movie. What do you mean? Murder. It also doesn't hurt that Clue had a really sharp script and a godlike cast. Let us in! Let us in! Let us out! Let us out! It's no good! Stand back! So until we can clone a million Tim Currys to star in every single movie and usher in a new golden age of cinema, let's chill on the board game adaptions, okay? One plus two. Plus one. Toys. I hate to break it to you, but G.I. Joe and Transformers and basically every 80s cartoon that you love was just designed to sell you toys. No! No! And hey, that's fine. The shows aren't bad. 
Somehow they managed to turn cheap lumps of plastic into beloved characters. But the movies? The G.I. Joe movie has an awesome opening battle at the Statue of Liberty, but then everything falls apart once they reveal Cobra Commander is like actually an alien snake man. Like, the f Yes! One step back. And they only made the 1984 Transformers movie to kill off all the characters you like so Hasbro could release shiny new robots for you to buy. The live action versions of these are even more of a mess, but at least they look kind of cool. Most of the time, toy adaptations don't get that kind of budget. The Masters of the Universe movie sent He-Man to the real world, because why waste all that money building sets for Eternia when you can just film Dolph Lundgren running around California in a diaper? If action figures aren't your thing, there have been plenty of bad films about dollies. There's a shitload of Barbie movies, American Girl, Cabbage Patch Kids, they even made a Bratz movie, which, what, what the f***? Bratz was amazing. No, it's f***ing amazing. Sasha was amazing. Like, that whole movie was just beautiful. I'm, I fully support Bratz. I don't want anyone to think otherwise. <laughs> Somehow, not all these movies are bombs. The animated movie about troll dolls actually made a ton of money, even though they look nothing like troll dolls. Like. Where are the jewels in their belly? Like, is it so hard to keep true to the source material? Like, I don't even care about trolls and I'm upset. Don't just take away the whole point of the magic coming from their bellies and then be like, we're gonna sing a song that's gonna make it better. It doesn't. Anyways, I'm sorry, I got upset. And there's all kinds of other crap in the works too. Is a magic eight ball movie really a good idea? Outlook, not so good. Films based on toys can definitely work. Just look at Toy Story or the Lego movie. But those aren't adaptations of whatever lame backstory some ad guy whipped up. They're more about the idea of toys, about the experience of playing with them and how much they can mean to us. All right, so have you guessed the last entry on our list? It's fucking emoji. I am so angry. Because of course it is, or they are, whatever the f they're fucking emojis. They're literally just abstract representations of shit we're too lazy to type. Like, did they even have to pay for any rights to this? Like, does the Unicode Consortium get a big fat check? Yeah, that Unicode Consortium. Are they setting up a cinematic universe to do a crossover with Wingdings? Like, look, I get it. It's hard to be original these days, and movies ain't cheap. Why do you think we're drowning in remakes and reboots? Adapting something that already has name recognition is tempting when you spend that kind of money. But if you find yourself with an extra 100 million and you want to be a big shot producer, maybe come up with your own idea. Hi guys, I'm Kaya. Um, I actually am not as angry as I seem. Um, I mean, I love good bad movies. These all just happen to be very bad movies. So how about in the comments, you let me know what your favorite bad movies are or movies based on ridiculous things or your favorite Bratz doll or your favorite Monopoly piece. Like really anything, I would love to see it. Please like and subscribe and we're going to have some more great content on the way.